Alright, in the last video we finished up the reload animation, but I realized I completely goofed and forgot to drop the slide. So as you can see, insert the mag and finish, the slide's still locked to the rear. So I'm not going to animate the fit thumb, I'm actually going to slide release to drop it. There. So it probably wouldn't be that bad to do, but I just don't feel like it for the sake of the tutorial. I'm going to select the armature of the weapon. And on frame 60, I just realized the magazine's upside down when I rotated it. <laughs> I'll fix that here in a minute. Um, but gonna go ahead and keyframe frame 66. Then on frame 68, the slide's gonna go home. Like so. So I wanna watch the magazine real quick. Should be this is a magazine bone, I think. Yeah. So right here it flips. That's when we lose the influence. I'm gonna flip you around. Can I not flip you around? So I can rotate you there. I can't here. That's really weird. I'm just going to try to lead in keyframes and maybe I can. Go to zero. Insert the keyframe. Alright, I can rotate it. Put the location back to zero. And the rotation. Okay, so it's when we set the rotation. So I'm just gonna pivot it around. And it is backwards. And now it's almost in place. I'd say that's pretty good. Keyframe it. What the world? Oh, I didn't keyframe. Got a keyframe zero influence and location rotation. Now the magazine is in place. Even though it's got a little bit of a wiggle going, but that's okay. So we're ending on frame 63. Wait. It's frame 68. So. End frame's gonna be 68. So, we go ahead and go into object mode with the armature for the weapon selected. And export. Weapon. This one's gonna be 1911. Emer. Sensei. Reload. I go ahead and delete my old one. I even can.
and export. I'm going to drag that animation into the weapon, select the skeleton, set the scale to be 100 so that it works with our weird issue, and here we have it. Magazine's in, slide goes home at the end, that looks good. Let's go to our weapon animations, I mean our player animations. Again, I'm just going to delete the other one that I put in. We're going to select our own armature. As you can see when I select between the two, the selected action changes. So we're going to export to our character. This one's going to be pistol, emergency, reload, and export. Let's drag it in, set the scale back to 1 so we're not gigantic, and import. And here you can see we have it. It's not that great, but it's something. Alright, so we have we now have our uh, reload animations in the game. In the next video, I will show you how we can link them together. So we're going to set it up to where it works. We're just going to be setting up the weapon reload animation to start. And we're going to work on setting up the player's reload animation to start and setting it up that way. So I will see you in the next one.